I'm Bill and I cook stuff. So today I'm actually not going to cook. Instead, I'm going to prepare a bun me. What? Bun me? You bun me, I bun you. <laughs> All right, so um, there's a great um, um, bakery at the farmer's market that I go to. They finally had these mini French baguettes and it's the closest approximation I have or I found to authentic Vietnamese style bun me buns. And if you haven't had authentic Vietnamese bun me buns, uh, you try it. And, and the history behind it is, is those buns are made from tapioca flour and rice flour. That's where you get the crunch from. So, so the, 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 the bread I have right now isn't quite, well it is like it, but it's not quite like it. Um, but I was really excited anyway because I haven't been able to make a bun me at home. What bun me? Alright, so um, the, the, the recipe is pretty simple. I used a uh, variation of some stuff. Of course, with bummy, you would really want to be mindful. Of... Oh, sorry. Something I got to tickle my throat because you know, I'm all teary eyed about talking about bummy. <laughs> um, but again, the bread is super, super key. The pate and the pickled vegetables. What? So I use a variation of um, ingredients that I got from the farmer's market, including imported mortada, uh, or is it mortello? Uh, mortetta. Um, <laughs> it's an Italian cut of. Um, Almost like a bologna, if you will. Um, anyway, uh, because it's, it's pretty hard to come by Vietnamese cold cuts. All right, well, you know, let's head to the prep area and uh, go from there. Well, thanks. Thanks, thanks. I'll see you in the prep area. Hello, hello. Okay, everyone. So here I am at my prep area. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit going on here. So let me go step by step, or one by one, I should say, in terms of what the ingredients I have here. Okay, doke. So, in interest of space, I have the cucumber right here, and I have the cilantro. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside, and then I have pickled daikon. Uh, jalapenos. I don't like to eat a lot of jalapenos, so just, just a tad for a little bit of spice. Um, so uh, pickled bean sprouts and carrots and uh, sweet red pepper actually. Got it from my local uh, farmer's market. Same thing with the daikon. Uh, I have fish sauce. There's one teaspoon here. And I have soy sauce, which is one teaspoon as well. And of course, I have two tablespoons of pate. Now, keep in mind, it really depends on how big your baguette is. <laughs> um, there's a cucumber. I already sliced it, and I, I was gonna. I substituted the the meats. So in this version, I'm going to be be using the Giovanni or Giovanni, I think pronounced uh, salami, and then uh, some imported mortada. Am I saying that right? I don't know. So. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm like handling meats. So I did four slices each, um, and then of course the star of the show is the baguette. So I got this 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 beauty right here at the um, local uh, farmers market bakery here in downtown. And the key with with any bun me is is the the bread. If you can find like authentic bun me bread, it's it's amazing. Oh, and don't forget, I have some mayonnaise as well. Okay, I got some light, light, light mayonnaise. So all, so now what we need to do is just put it all together. All right. So the first thing we do, it's actually really simple. Um, so in order to lock in some of the the flavors, uh, especially this, so it doesn't slide everywhere, I'm gonna put my fish or uh, fish fish sauce and just put it on the bread like that. So that way it soaks into the bread and it's, you know, you're gonna get fish sauce all over your hands. Okay, so boom. And next, I'm going to gently put my soy sauce right there. It might be too much. Okay, so it's one tablespoon of those like, you know, coalescing over here. Okay, uh, next I am going to do my pate. I got from the local grocery store and I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> There's no art or science to this one. You just, just put it in the pate and spread it. Uh, generally speaking, it depends on how much you like your pate. So you might want to use more or less. It's to your liking. I actually do like the pate flavor. Okay. Ta-da! There's the pate. What? I mean, it's it's so simple, right? Uh, then I'm going to ta -da, squeeze a little bit of... Man, this is like... <laughs> it's probably my easiest video. Uh, mayonnaise, and I'm just gonna squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, boom, not too much. If you have Japanese mayonnaise, that would be also amazing. Um, and 
Mmm, there we have it. So I am going to next put my meats on. What? Here we go, the mortada. The mortata. Tear there. And then, I guess I only need three. So four. And then the salami. Do, do, do. You're probably wondering, like, why? Why is this guy making a video about, like, <laughs> <laughs> this stuff. Um, yeah, well, I mean, if you had had a traditional bun me, like in an authentic Vietnamese place, it is absolutely amazing. All right, so what I did is I did a fold. You see that, what I did? Um, and now I'm going to put the rest of the stuff on. So I'll start with the cucumbers. I already sliced it, so it was pre-sliced. Ta-da! And I'm not sure if you all can see that, but okay. See that? Well, hope you can. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yep. Where? See that? Woo! Okay, then I am, so, I mean, you can use chopsticks if you want to be, you know, to do it. So the next is actually the daikon. Do, 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 daikon. And you want to make sure your, your, your daikon is actually really thinly sliced. As you can see. And then, here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to position it. So, so, so whenever you get bun me, you probably you probably see the version where it's actually uh, sliced vertically or lengthwise. So they're like long pieces. If you can do that, that actually makes even more sense. So, lastly, I'm going to put ta-da, my bean sprouts slash carrots. And look at that. Look at that. Oh, I guess lastly, I'm putting my jalapeno. Boop, boop, boop. And then there you have it. <laughs> Look at that. That, actually, can you see that? That is a, uh, a bun me. You bun me, I bun you. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. All right, so let's go to the taste test, and uh, I will be right back. Look, look at that beauty. Look at that sandwich. Wow. Look at that sandwich. <laughs> that is not a sandwich. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I'm actually going to cut it in half so it's easier to eat, but, you know, uh, I will see you in the, oops, oop, look at that. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute at the tasting area. Tasting area, tasting area. And of course, if you want extra um, fish sauce, you can also do that too. All right, see you in a minute. I'm about to do my taste test, but before I do that, I also add one of the condiments. As you can see, I put cilantro on. So, uh, some folks don't like cilantro, so that's why I left it out. Um, but I'm actually going to put it on here, and look at that. Look at that bombay. Look at that bombay. All right, so uh, let's now let's get to the, to the uh, tasting area. Well, I'm actually already in the tasting area, so uh, let's get to the tasting. What, what? Hey, I'm Bill, and I cook stuff. So here I am in the tasting area, and today I made a bun me. What? Bun me my style. You bun me, I bun you. I just really like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you got some inspiration as to the bun mees that you can make. And I will, oh, before I do my taste test, of course, I am going to tell you a dad joke. Whoa, what's this guy about this dad joke? What we talk about? Dad joke. Alright, so the dad joke of the day is what, you know, what was the spatula's um, new hot fling? Spatula. Um, they got a new grill. <laughs> All right, that was really cheesy. <laughs> I'll admit, I'll admit. All right, so let's, uh, that's your dad joke for the day. So let's, let's try the bun me. I went ahead and did cut it. See, what? Look at that. What? What? And I put the cilantro on top. You know, you can add more fish sauce if you want, but check it out. Check it out. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. Um, a bon appetit. Well, I guess I don't know how they say that in Vietnamese, but uh, let's just try. Well, I guess baguettes are French. It was the history behind the the, the bun me was was the French wanted you know they wanted French baguette sandwiches and they that that's how they were able to do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's try this. Oh, mmm, mmm, wow, mmm, mmm. -hmm. Well, Mmm. Mmm. I can definitely taste the, the blend of South Asian, uh, South Asian, South Asian flavors. So, because the hint of the, of the fish sauce, 
and soy sauce, and very delicate. You don't overpower it. And then the balance of the pickled vegetables, the pate, and the meats. Mm. This is a tasty bun <laughs> All right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got some inspiration. And uh, like and subscribe. I will see you next time. I will see you next time. I'm going to finish my lunch. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh.